Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing hopefully a quick little helpful video on how um, to navigate your way around a music player, specifically for implementing that into NeoCities. I know there are tons of videos out there already on how a uh, music player works for card, but I have gotten a few requests from the last video I made um, where I made a tutorial on a layout similar to this second page of my website and a lot of people were asking how I styled my music player so I'm just going to quickly go over how you can style your music player and then additionally how to position it on your website and how to get you know your songs uploaded and working properly so that they play when someone tries to use your music player. For the sake of this video, we are going to be using um, this music player right here, which I will literally link this video in every single video I ever make, but um, one of the best resources out there has tons and tons and tons of different music player options, and this is one of the more complex ones, so I figure once you understand how to make this one, you will understand how to do um, the more simpler ones. So yeah, once you open up that pasty bin you will have the code um, and so you're literally going to copy the entire thing and then oops ignore that and then paste it in between body and body like so and if you see a little error message um, you can ignore that um, a lot of the times the error messages are just like formatting and stuff but the code will still work properly and I have so many error messages on my main site but it I have yet to get a problem from them which maybe I shouldn't ignore them but anyways um, really quickly though before we get started on the music player itself uh, this like top stuff here is kind of already put there every time you make a new HTML file and if you are um, confused on how to work your way around like neo cities and stuff i'll leave a link in the description to a video i made where the audio is not great but um kind of just going over how to make a neo cities account and how to work your way around the platform before you start learning um html and css so it's not all so overwhelming at once um we are going to delete this line of code as this makes it so when you um look at your website on a mobile device rather than like a laptop or a PC it will still look like the dimensions and whatnot will still be the same and then we're just gonna name our site the little name you see right here at the top tab we're just gonna name it like I did for my reference hi you can name it whatever and you might already have some stuff in between style if this is the the two style divs if this is the first page you've ever made on neo cities um but again if you're completely new to this i would recommend watching my video before you get into something like this so now that we have that we can see what our site looks like it is just the unstylized music player um but i will quickly go over the styling stuff so you can have it look more like this um and just like personalize it obviously you don't have to do the same things i did but we are going to change the font we're going to add our own font and um some self promo i would recommend my resource card um you can see tons and tons of different fonts and how they look and then i just chose like a random font you open the pasty bin you'll just copy the like usually it's the top part the font face and then you will paste it under the first style div right here and then you'll just copy this the font family line and you'll replace font family Arial with that and I guess we can delete the little note because it's not the default font and then we will change the color of the border I literally just looked up a pastel color palette and I am using the colors from that um, in some of my past videos I have linked in the description some videos or not videos resources for how color codes work and hex codes and how to find good color palettes and stuff like that if you're not super familiar with that um, aspect of CSS so you're welcome to check those out but usually you can find pictures of stuff people have already made and I just copy <laughs> those so once we've changed the border we're gonna scroll 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 and now we are getting um, to here which this color right here will be the color of the button so I made that this red color which we will quickly copy FFA DAD and then a little further down the notes that the person who made the base of the music pl player um, added in the comments 
this like gray text here are super helpful if you ever get confused it tells you exactly what the color is so that's super helpful so the first two boxes i did that yellow color and then these three colors or i guess these four colors um i at least in my opinion you're gonna want to make all the same color um because that's this little box this slider this little box this slider um it's up to you if you want to do i just think it like if you want to make them different colors or not i just think it looks better as the same color so once we have that we can just copy and paste that like so like so and now we can see we should have the font as well as the colors all matching beautiful we will come back to the um, adding the songs themselves in one second there are a few more things i need to change Okay, volume icon. We are gonna make the font size zero because we do not want that to show up. You can't really see it um, since I added the font, but in the um, reference that's like this little box right here, we're just getting rid of it. I'm not sure if it the code no longer works or like what it's supposed to be, but um, it does not, it's not visually appealing, at least in my opinion. Um, and so once you remove that, it's really nice. The uh, volume slider will automatically expand to the rest of the box. And if you scroll down closer to the bottom and these symbols right here, we are going to change those. When you click play, you can see that um, it creates this like the this is supposed to be a pause button, but it's not a pause button. So we're going to change it to a pause button. And I don't really understand this, but I guess HTML like these like this like combination of symbols and letters um, corresponds to symbols. And I will have this like for you to guys to copy somewhere in the description so you don't have to just you know cop like write it down really fast and i believe we're gonna yeah replace the pause icon so you're gonna do that save it refresh and now it's like the pause the pause button um as you can see though because the pause button is like I guess bigger than the play button the whole box kind of expands as you can see which is kind of annoying when you're trying to position a music player like into another container like how i have for this website so what i did for my website is i just made them both the same symbol so it may not be as like aesthetically pleasing because you can't tell when like it's being played besides the fact that you would like hear the song playing um but it the box doesn't move and the song plays so that's just personal preference. You're welcome to use the pause symbol. Again, I will leave that um, in the description. And you can also look for other symbols that like are the same size and won't move the box. I was just a little lazy, but really all I did to find this was I literally looked up pause button HTML symbol and it came up like on Google. So <laughs> um, the last two things we are gonna do, we are really quickly going to add positioning which we are going to do right here. And I use relative positioning when I'm using NeoCities. I've been using, I'm used to using absolute positioning with card, but I think relative positioning is so much easier um, for NeoCities. I can make a video on the different types of positioning and how that works, um, even though I'm not like a pro by any means, um, if anyone would be interested in that. And then I used 14 EM top and then left 37 EM. I just positioned this into the middle of the website but you guys are welcome obviously if you don't want it in the middle you just play around with these numbers right here and it'll like move around the page um, as you can see and then lastly we are going to add our songs so that is going to be this uh, section right here I only have three songs so what I did was I literally just deleted these the brackets and everything within the brackets um, and if you wanted to add another song, you would just create like copy and paste and then with the brackets and then change the info in the middle. And it's really nice. Um, the code will automatically readjust. So now it says. Oh, I deleted this end bracket here. Don't do that. I knew something was wrong. Don't do that. <laughs> um, and so now it will just automatically just playing one of three 
which is super nice. You don't have to like do anything with those numbers. Um, and so then you're obviously gonna change the name of the song, the artist, and then um, as for uploading the song itself, last time I made a video explaining how to do that, YouTube took it down. So I would recommend you guys um, looking at this. If you click on this um, link, a link tree will open up with tons and tons of awesome resources and tutorials on different methods you can use to download an MP3 file and then upload that somewhere and then copy and paste that link into NeoCities where, or any other website builder um, where the song should hopefully work properly and play when someone uses the music player. I personally use the Dropbox method. Um, it's funny, it's under this website as not recommended, but I've never had a problem with it. There are definitely more efficient ways than um, Dropbox. I've just, you know, I'm used to what I'm used to, so I have, you know, neglected learning anything new, but I would check out um, some of the other methods. So I'm literally, for a sake of time, and because I feel like hopefully I've explained it well enough and it's pretty straightforward, I'm just gonna copy all of the songs I have. Um, and I just, this is the best song ever. Everyone, please go listen to this. I love this band. I had to shorten their name because the font I'm using is so big. But yeah, so you save that, reload the page, and then um, your song names are there and your songs will hopefully play. Um, I have my volume turned off right now because obviously I can't play the song, but yeah, and you can speed up this music player is super cool. You can, you know, skip throughout the song and then adjust the volume. Like it actually works if you could hear the song playing um so i think that's super cool that is pretty much it for this video i think we went um over everything if you guys have any questions need any help uh please let me know any ideas for future videos recommendations constructive criticism said in a polite way all my socials are linked below um thank you guys so much for watching as usual uh I will see you in the next one. I hope that this was helpful. Bye-bye. Uh,